Praise the Lord. Destiny is calling you. Destiny is calling and your purpose too. Destiny is waiting, waiting just for you. For Jeremiah 29 and 11 says, For I know the thoughts that I have concerning you, thoughts of peace and not evil, to give you an expected end, a hopeful future, a successful life. I would that you prosper, be in health, even as your soul shall prosper. We thank God for you tuning in to another broadcast of the Word Ministries. We're grateful to be before you. We thank God for all of our viewers. We thank God for all the affiliates at WIL TV 47, located in the Marvel City of Sylacauga, Alabama. We thank God for those that bring this program to you across this land and country, across this world. Amen. My prayer is that, amen, that these messages reach the world. Amen. The Bible says, amen. Go ye into all the world. Amen. And preach the gospel. Amen. And you never know, amen, the avenue, the vehicle that God will give you, amen, to reach the world. And I thank God. Be encouraged to know that your gift will make room for you. You all have gifts. Praise the name of God. We all have gifts. Mine may not be yours and yours may not be mine, but you all have gifts. Use it to the glory of God. Whatever you find your hands to do, do it with your might. Amen. God has a purpose and God has a plan for each of us. We are fearfully and we are wonderfully made by God. We are his people and we are the sheep of his pasture. He loved us in so much that he so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. God sent his son into the world not to condemn the world. God won't, amen, has a purpose and plan for you. God has destiny, amen, for you. Praise the name of God. And all we got to do, amen, is realize that God sent his son into the world not to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. And I thank God for Jesus Christ, amen. Jesus Christ came into this world not to make me rich, not to make me famous, not to make me popular, amen. He came into this world, amen, to save sinners. And we all, amen, as David said, amen, born in sin, shaping in iniquity, amen, in, in sin that our mother conceived us, amen. And we were born in sin and shaping in iniquity, amen. But Jesus Christ came into this world to save sinners. You're not too far gone, amen, for the Lord to save you. I hear him saying, my hand is not shortened that I cannot save, nor my ears heavy, heavy that I cannot hear. The problem, amen, that's been with you and I, amen, is that our sin has separated between us and God, amen. Our iniquities have hid his face from him. But I thank God for that great mediator, amen. There is one mediator between God and man, and that man is Christ Jesus, amen. Praise the name of God. He sits at the right hand of the throne of God, making intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. He's working on our behalf. He is the propitiation. He is the one that appeases to God on our behalf. He is the propitiation for our sins. And the Bible says not for ours only, but for the sins of the world. And he declared if we confess our sin, that God is faithful and that God is just to forgive us our sin. And the blood of his son Jesus cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen. If I'm bold enough to commit the sin, I ought to be humble enough to confess to God to forgive me. Praise the name of God. Amen. And God will forgive your sin. He that come to me, Jesus said, I in no wise will cast him out. If you confess me, I will confess you. If you receive me, I will receive you. Amen. But if you be ashamed of me before mankind, 
I will be ashamed of you before my Father. Amen. Even if we deny him, he cannot deny himself. He is the Lord. He is the Savior. He is the Anointed One. He is Jesus Christ, the one that saved to the uttermost. I tried him. Amen. He's all right. He'll forgive you. He'll receive you. He'll save you right now. He'll reclaim you. Amen. You that have backslidden, and I thank God for you thinking enough to tune into this broadcast, even though you have backslidden, you haven't been in church. Amen. You, you, you amen. Used to serve on this board. Somebody that used to be a preacher. Amen. Praise the name of God. Well, God is letting you know that his gifts and calling are irrevocable. They are without repentance. Why don't you just come on back, amen, to the fold? Why don't you, amen, as I said last week, give God the key to your heart. Amen. You give God the key to your heart when you be like Isaiah. The Lord asks a question, whom shall I send and who will go for us? Isaiah said, here am I, send me. Apostle Paul on Damascus Road, amen, gave God, on down the line, he gave God the key to his heart, amen. Praise the name of God. On the day of Pentecost, when Peter preached, amen, the house of Israel was pricked in their heart. And they said, men and brethren, what must we do? Amen. What must we do to give, our, give God the key to our heart? Peter said, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name Lord Jesus Christ, for the remission of your sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. When you give God the key to your heart, he's going to fill you with the Holy Ghost. I heard him say on that last day, the great day of the feast, believe on me. He cried out with a loud voice, believe on me. Believe on me. Have faith in me. Rely on me. Put your trust in me, believe on me, as the scripture says, and out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. What was he talking about? He was talking about his spirit. For at that time, in John, the Holy Ghost was not yet given. But Jesus declared in Acts 1 and 8, after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, you shall have power and you shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem, in all Judea, in Samaria, and the other most part of the earth. In other words, everywhere you go, amen, you ought to tell somebody, amen, that you know you've been changed. Songwriter said, the angels in heaven done sign my name. Amen. I've been changed. When you give God the key to your heart, he changes you. Therefore, if anyone be in Christ, they are a new creature. Old things are passed away, and behold, all things are become new. The outward man perish, but the inward man is renewed day by day. God is steady working a work in your life. Amen both to will and to do of his good pleasure. If we'll only yield to him our vessels, he will use us. Amen. Give him your vessel. Amen. Give him your heart. Give him your life. Give him your body. Paul said in Romans 12, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove that which is good and acceptable, the perfect 
will of God. We thank God. That's a review of last week's lesson. Today we're going to the book of Ezekiel. Amen. A prophet of God. Amen. One that was used by God. Amen. I will tell you before we go into Ezekiel 37 and 1 that God is no respecter of persons. Amen. The songwriter said there's no secret to what God can do. What he done for others, he'll do the same for you. Amen. He'll use you too if we give God the key to our heart. Be rest assured, God is going to use you. You mean me, I mean you. Amen. You that are sitting there watching right now, God is using you. Amen. I thank God for your humbleness. Amen. For the amen. Humbleness, amen, in the sight of God is a great price. I encourage you to continue to humble yourself under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time. Amen. When you humble yourself, God will use you. He gives grace to the humble. Amen. But he resists the proud. That's why we need to give God the key to our heart. Amen. That he'll root out arrogancy. He'll root out, root out pride and boastfulness. Amen. Praise the name of God. And he'll put, take out that stony heart and he'll put in a heart of flesh. A heart, amen, like his. A mind like his. Glory be to God. Ezekiel 37 and 1, you will find these words recorded. Praise the name of God. The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones and caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley and lo, they were very dry. Praise the name of God. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. Again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and you shall live. We want to talk to you from this subject. Hear the word and live. Hear the word and live. Most of us, majority of us, want to live. Even those that are dealing with depression and stress and anxiety, deep down, you really want to live. Amen. Praise the name of God. There is a remedy to living. There is a solution that we all can live. And that is by hearing the word of the Lord. Praise the name of God. When I say here, I'm not talking about letting it go in one ear and out the other, or itching ears, or letting it fall on death grounds. Amen. But I'm talking about when you hear it, that means you're hearkening and you're listening and, and, and ready to obey. When you hearken to the word, amen, you're getting ready to live. When you listen to the word, you're getting ready to live. When you obey the word, amen, you are getting ready to live. So I say today, hear the word and live. The word is so important to you and I. Amen. Amen. Because the devil, amen, does not want you to live. Amen. He, he's that thief that John 10 talks about that come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. That's no life in any of that. But Jesus Christ said, I am come 
that you might have life and life more abundantly. If you want life and life more abundantly, hear the word and live. The devil don't want you to have nothing. He don't want you to be nothing. He don't want you to become nothing. He don't want no one to see nothing in you. But amen, if you hear the word and live, amen, it doesn't matter what the devil wants. It doesn't matter what the devil desires. Amen. Jesus said, I, amen, would above all that you may prosper and be in health even as your soul shall prosper. How do I do that? You just hear the word and live. The word is so important, amen, that even Jesus Christ put the word on Satan. Amen. Jesus had fasted for 40 days, 40 nights. And the Bible says afterward, he was hungry. And, and here comes the tempter. Amen. Satan is the tempter. Amen. Uh, trying to take what the word of God says out of your heart. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of God. Amen. He came to him and said, if you be the son of God, hey, turn these stones into bread. But Jesus said, amen, to him, it is written. See, when you hear the word of the Lord, you can tell Satan what is written. <laughs> He told him, amen, that mankind shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Now, it is important to hear the word of the Lord. Now, amen, amen, and live. Now, because Satan want to devour you. Now, hallelujah. The Bible said be sober. Now, be vigilant. Now, because your adversary, the devil, now, the arch enemy of God, now, he walketh about now, as a roaring lion. Now, what is he doing? Now, he's seeking uh, whom he may May devour. Now, he won't give up. Uh, uh, hallelujah. Uh, he didn't give up on Jesus. Uh, and he's sure not going to give up on you and I. Now, he came back to Jesus uh, and took him uh, into a high mountain uh, and said, Fall down. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, for the hand, God will try to put the word nah, and mix it up a little bit. Nah. He said, fall down, nah, for God will give his angels charge over you. Nah. Hallelujah. Nah. But Jesus nah, told him again, nah, it is written, nah, thou shalt not tempt nah, the Lord thy God. Nah. Yeah. Nah. And he took him again nah, to a high mountain nah, and said, all of this nah, will I give you you nah, if you fall down nah, and worship me nah, yeah nah, but Jesus nah, heard the word nah, Jesus nah, is the word nah, yes nah, hallelujah nah, Jesus told him nah, it is written nah, hallelujah nah, Thank you, Lord. Thou shalt serve the Lord thy God. Get behind me, Satan. Thou shalt serve the Lord thy God. Get the hint, Satan. I resist you. I rebuke you. Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God. And him only will I serve. Hear the word and live. If you want to live, it's in the word. For the word, Jeremiah said, is like the hammer that breaks the rock in pieces. The word is a lamp to our feet, a light to our pathway. The word is powerful. It's sharper than a two-edged sword. Yeah, it pierces. Hallelujah. Both going and coming. Coming, huh? You ought to hear huh? the word of the Lord huh? and live. Huh? Good God Almighty, huh? the word of God. Huh? No wonder Paul said, huh? I'm not ashamed huh? of the gospel, huh? for it is huh? 
the power of God uh, unto salvation uh, to everyone uh, that believe. Uh, if you're willing uh, to believe, uh, the word uh, is nigh you, uh, is near you, uh, even in your mouth. Uh, that is the word uh, of faith uh, which we preach, uh, that of you will uh, confess with your mouth, uh, believe in your heart, uh, that God raised uh, Jesus from the dead. Huh? You shall be saved. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? If you hear the word of the Lord, huh? he'll cause uh, huh? you to live. Huh? He'll give you life. Huh? He'll give you joy. Huh? He'll give you power. Huh? After that, the Holy Ghost huh? is come upon you. Huh? You shall have power. Huh? If you hear the word, huh? he'll fill you huh? with the gift huh? of the Holy Ghost. Huh? Hear the word. Huh? In the beginning ha, was the Word, ha, and the Word ha, was with God, ha, and the Word ha, was God. Ha. The Word ha, was made flesh. Ha. What you talking about? Ha. Who you talking about? Ha. The Word was made flesh ha, through Jesus. Ha. We beheld his glory, ha. the glory as the only ha, begotten of the Father, ha. full of grace, ha. Full of truth. Huh? If you hear the word huh, of the Lord, huh, you can have light. Huh? The Bible said, huh, He that has the Son huh, has life. Huh? He that got Jesus huh, got life. Huh? He that has not the Son, huh? he that don't have Jesus huh, don't have light. Huh? You may have a lot of money, huh? but that's not life. Huh? For what shall it profit huh? a man again? Huh? The whole world. And lose his own soul. Yeah, you got a lot of possessions, but the man's life does not consist in the abundance of things which he possesses. You brought nothing into this world, and it's certain you can carry nothing out. Hallelujah. In the setting of our lesson today, Ezekiel was a prophet of God, and he came and said, the hand uh, of the Lord uh, was upon me. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, to your preachers and pastors out there, uh, make sure uh, that the hand of the Lord uh, is upon you. Uh, people uh, can take their hands off you. Uh, people uh, can turn their back on you. Uh, but I don't never uh, want the hand of the Lord uh, to come off of me. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I don't want the, uh, the anointing uh, to leave me. Uh, but the anointing uh, destroy the yoke. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, the hand of the Lord uh, was upon me. Uh, carried me out uh, in the midst uh, of the valley, ha, which were full ha, of bones. Ha. Yes, sir. Ha. There were very many ha, in the open valley. Ha. And he declared ha, they were ha, very dry. Ha. And Ezekiel ha, said, the Lord ha, said to him, ha, Ezekiel, ha, can these ha, bones live? Ha. Hallelujah. Ha. Ezekiel said, ha, oh Lord, God, huh, thou knowest huh, whether these bones huh, can live. Huh? He told Ezekiel, huh, prophesy, huh, prophesy huh, to the bones. Huh? Yes, sir. Huh? Tell the bright bones huh, to hear the word huh, of the Lord. Huh? If you hear the word huh, of the Lord, huh, I will lay huh, cause sin you huh, to come on you. Huh? I call skin huh, to come on you. Huh? I call you to live. Huh? You out there today, huh? you feel like giving up. Huh? You feel like throwing in the towel. Huh? <clears throat> but don't be weary huh? in well doing huh? in due season huh? you gonna reap huh? if you faint not huh? prophesy Ezekiel huh? to the four winds huh? yes sir huh? yes sir huh? and hallelujah huh? tell the wind huh? to blow huh? on you huh? yes indeed huh? in the name of Jesus huh? I prophesy to you today huh? 
eyes haven't seen, not ears have not heard, not neither has it in them, not in the heart of mankind, not what the Lord has prepared not for you. Not if you hear the word not and live, not I say to you, daughter, today, not if you turn it over to Jesus, not he'll work it out, not he'll fix it. Not all things work together not to the good not of them that love God, not to them that are called not according to his purpose. Not you out there, not you've lost not your zeal. Not you've lost not your love not for, hallelujah, the word. Not I want to bring you back home. Not come on back not to the fold. Not come on back home. Not God is waiting not on you. Not he's beckoning. Not he's calling. Not he's calling you out of darkness into the marvelous light. He's calling you. Say, come to me, all that labor, all that are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Take my yoke. You tried this one. You tried that one. You tried Sal. You tried Sue, and they wouldn't do. You tried him. You tried Joe, and he told you you had to go. But I want to tell you, try Jesus. Try Jesus. He's all right. Try him. Come to him. He'll give you rest. He'll give you peace. He'll give you joy. He'll give you life. You can live when you hear the word of the Lord. No wonder the sanctified ladies used to sing a song entitled in the word of the Lord. I got a hiding place when you hear the word of the Lord. In spite of what you're going through, it'll hold you. It'll keep you. Yes, sir. The word of God will keep you. But you got to hear it. The word of God will give you life. But you got to hear it. You got to hearken to it. Be doers and not just hearers only. Amen. Be a doer and not just a hearer only. You will be blessed in your deeds. Hear the word of the Lord and live. There's life for you. May God bless you and may God keep you is my prayer. Thank God for you.